Crockett, California, a charming little enclave nestled among the steep hillsides along the Carquina Straits. Crockett's history is charming, brutal, mysterious, mythical, and at times unbelievable. But it's all true. In 1891, the Star Flour Mill milled more grain than any other mill in the world. The Star Flour Mill went bankrupt in 1894. In 1906, the CNH Sugar Refinery opened its doors. How can a sugar refinery succeed when the world's largest flour mill failed in just three years? The answer is the discovery of mined sugar technology. In 1900, while fishing near where today's bulk bins stand, a young man entered an opening in the hillside after hearing strange sounds coming from literally the belly of the earth. Crawling through a small hole, the fisherman discovered the sugar caverns. He later died of diabetes inside those same sugar caverns. But the secret leaked out, and CNH opened its doors in 1906, telling all who would listen that they were importing sugar, when in fact most of it was coming from only a few blocks away inside the sugar caverns. There were many entrances to the caverns. Most were adjacent to now long gone parking lots. Entries between the trees at Eccles, through the doors beneath the old Chat and Chew restaurant at the western edge of town. Downtown, a main entry cut into the earth across from CNH. The Boy Scout Hall once served as an employee locker room and later as the visitor center for the caverns. Most tours were created and led by CNH travel maven. Blanche Ball through her CNH supported Crockett Culture Club. By the 1960s, an underwater entry was opened and serviced by submarines. The entry onto the subs was by the pier at the old Dorelios Marina. The Dorelios Marina was also the parking lot for cavern workers who drove their own subs to work. Currently, only one underwater worker is parked at the marina. Surrounding the parking lots, are various transport shuttles for workers that were viable commuter ferries until just last month. 